Kuke, you are finally on air on The Source. Thank you for your time. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Pinky, and good morning, Philippines. All right, um, let's start, uh, Secretary, with the President's health. In his address yesterday morning, he said that his doctor actually advised him not to drink because his Barrett is nearing stage one cancer. Can you give us more information on this? Well, I think people are putting uh, too much meaning on that statement. No, I think that advice was given to him a long time ago when the president was still drinking. He has since stopped drinking. And as far as I know, since he became president, he has not resumed drinking. No? So you're talking of a medical advice that happened many years ago, even prior to the presidency. No? And I think the reason why the president precisely stopped drinking was to prevent it from uh, developing for, uh, into cancer one uh, cancer, not stage one cancer. And that is the context of uh, what the president said. No? So I guess rephrasing what so, the president said, he almost had cancer if he did not stop drinking, but he has since stopped drinking. So I think uh, everyone saw okay. how the president's demeanor was. Cancer stage one for a prolonged period of time um, would need um, treatment, including uh, uh, what you call this, um, um, well, treatment that would have adverse effects on his physical appearance even, no? So I think people should appreciate and base their perception on the people's health as, as they saw him, no? Every week, and, and the latest being last uh, Tuesday, no? Um, the President Pinky is a lawyer. Um, he knows what the Constitution provides. In case he has a serious illness, he, wa he would have to divulge his medical condition to the public. And I assure everyone that um, as officers of the court, the President and I, will divulge any serious illness to the public or so on to the Constitution. So this nearing stage one cancer, the president was actually referring to even before he became president, that the doctors advised him to stop drinking. Hence, he stopped drinking and you not, never saw him drink again. Yes, and that's why he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. He has no vices as president, no? because he wants to be um, in good and healthy condition. But, but let's go back to about two years ago. In 2018, um, there was, of course, a report that um, there was uh, the doctors found a growth during his endoscopy. Does this have anything to do with the president saying that he had he the doctors advised him to stop drinking because he was nearing stage one cancer. Is this related? I'm not a doctor myself, uh, Pinky, no. So I would not know with um, um, definite. I would not have any idea, no. But what I do know is that um, the Barrett's disease has to do also with um, you know the esophagus, and I think it's part of monitoring basically if the president um, is is okay. And so far, he is okay. Um, as far as I know, there is no cancer. And as I said, if there is cancer and if it is a serious illness, he will be reporting it to the people. But you were presidential spokesperson in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, because um, you were the one being interviewed during that time when they found a growth during the president's endoscopy. Am I correct, sir? Well, I, I believe... Um, it also came from the president's mouth that he consulted and there was endoscopy, no? Now, obviously, uh -uh. no, the uh, endoscopy turned out that uh, there was some um, cancer there Then we would see in the president's physical condition if he already has cancer, no? Uh, there would be chemotherapy, for instance, and chemotherapy leads to uh, hair loss, no? And general weakening, a condition that you don't really see in the president, no? He is fit and healthy for a person his age. So what was that growth in 2018? Which one? Well, What I, was that growth sure found during his endoscopy in 2018? Yeah, whatever it is, it could not have been cancerous, no? Because as you see, the condition of the president is his fine. Mm -mm. Secretary, do you know if at any point, uh, even when he was saying, you were saying that this possibly happened before he became president, do you know... Have you asked him if, if if he underwent any kind of treatment for this nearing one, stage one uh, 
nearing stage one cancer? Well, you know, the, the words of the president um, repeating what the president said is if you don't stop drinking, it may lead to stage one cancer. He stopped drinking upon uh, doctor's advice and he's reaping the harvest of heeding medical advice, thinking. So there is no need. You don't think there is a need for a medical bulletin for now? As I said, no, the lawyer, the president, I am a lawyer myself. The president is a lawyer. We will comply with the um, constitutional provision. If there is a serious illness, the people will know. He will not hide it. You know, let me reiterate. So he does not have a serious illness. Yes. As far as the president's condition is concerned, medical condition is concerned, take note that it comes from his own mouth. So it's not as if he's trying to hide anything. He's very transparent. Um, he has repeated what his doctors have said, and that is why he has taken a specific course of action, i.e. he stopped uh, drinking. No? Um, when he talked mm -hmm. about his mm -hmm. doctor, it also came from his own mouth. So I don't think the, pre the people should worry about lack of transparency because the president himself will say what his condition is. No? But as of now, there's really no serious condition. And mm -hmm. I'd like to um, say to those who wish the president ill, Sorry na lang po kayo because God has given the president. Secretary Roque, in July, I remember you were saying when the president was being asked about, when you were being asked about the president's health, you said he is 88% healthy. How yes. healthy is he now in August? He's healthy as any 75-year-old could be, no? In the Philippines, no? And that's the reason why he regularly delivers his messages to the people weekly so that they would know and see him no? and judge for themselves. No? Let him start talking about the anti-drug war, it becomes all animated. No? Um, and in the last um, uh, message to the people, he was also animated because he was trying to prove the point that in his administration, money intended for COVID will go for its intended purpose. And he has vowed that in the mm -hmm. two remaining years uh, of his uh, term of office, that he will cleanse the ranks of Philhead. Is he still 88% healthy, as you said, in July? I believe so. Yes, yes, he is. All right. Let's go. Let's shift topics, uh, Secretary, uh, the situation in Holo. My first question here is, um, there are some wondering why the president did not talk about the twin explosions in Holo in yesterday's televised address. Why is this? Or was this edited is, out? Uh, we have previously issued a statement condemning the attack. Um, it is a violation of the laws and customs of warfare. And previous to that, he had a command conference where it was discussed, but the command conference was um, confidential in nature. I was not even allowed to um, sit in through the meeting where he met with the top leadership of the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police. No? So um, the fact mm -hmm. that he did not say anything, it's probably because he has given the uh, um, necessary orders to the top brass of the AFP and the PNP, and you don't discuss what you intend to do as far as um, situation on the ground is publicly. Pero nasanay din po tayo, I, I'm sure you'll agree, Secretary, that uh, pag may nangyayari po sa mga sundalo, may namamatay na mga sundalo o mga police, the President always sends his condolences or definitely he always talks about this. So again, it was something possibly that I for one was also wondering what the President would say about that explosion that happened because we lost, uh, the President lost, um, you know, the 15 lives were lost during that twin explosion. Well, whether or not the uh, president verbalized um, his concern for the soldiers, he walks the talk. Um, he has a policy of um, not just condoling with the family, but providing financial assistance for the family. And um, the victims of this latest attack will not be an exception to the rule. Um, they will be given due recognition as modern-day heroes. Is he planning to visit Holo anytime soon? Well, um, under the circumstance, um, he has visited Holo. Um, and under the circumstance, um, let's just say that it's very difficult, um, not only because of uh, the pandemic, but also because of the situation on the ground in Holo. 
Army Chief uh, General Sobehana and PNP Chief Gamboa are, well, first the Army Chief was recommending martial law in Sulu, the PNP Chief also uh, agreeing to this. Do you think the President will consider this recommendation? Well, the President um, will, of course, consider this recommendation, as will um, both Congress and the Supreme Court, not because, as you know, a declaration of martial law now uh, contains safeguards not found in the 1935 Constitution.